Good morning, everyone, my brothers and sisters. December the 4th, today would have been my mother's birthday. 2015, December the 4th, and uh, oh, you can feel, you can just feel the excitement in the air. I know you can, but how close Jesus is, how really close he is to coming for us. And we've waited, we've waited such a long, long time, and I am weary. And I don't have a whole lot of strength left, but I am so ready to go home. Um, getting ready to head out to the city of Flint in just a few moments. I know uh, someone had left a comment on one of my videos. They uh, love it when I'm outside, so I love to be outside. Uh, and I'm outside a lot. And uh, unseasonably warm weather, we had a massive snowstorm. Uh, not that long ago, I think it was 9 inches, 12 inches of snow, and uh, all the snow's gone. All the snow's gone, but I can't help but look up, because I know he's coming. He's just beyond the clouds. He's just beyond the clouds, and uh, you can almost feel his presence. Can you? Can you almost feel his amazing presence? And uh, I, I, I am ready to go. I believe we are in the time. This is the time. And we need to do what's right. We need to get uh, ourselves ready and be prepared and put on our Sabbath clothing and not take it off and be ready. Be rapture ready. I had some dreams, a reoccurring dream again. I spoke about that at our tiny chat service on uh, Wednesday. And I've also had, I don't know if you're experiencing this or not, um, some nightmares. Uh, so bad I don't really want to uh, share, not right now, but it was terrible and it's a, I believe it's a message for those that are going to be left behind uh, that won't make it in the rapture and my heart is just breaking. A lot of talk all across the internet and the uh, Christian brothers and sisters, oh, we need to be prepared uh, with all of these shootings and uh, now this uh, shooting in California and we've got the church divided some are believing that um, it is ISIS uh, and we have a terrible threat in the Middle East and that our borders are wide open and uh, here we have the president of the United States won't call it what it is radical Islam and that might have to do uh, with his Muslim faith uh, and these shootings and these all these people that are losing their life and they believe that it's real That this really did take place. It wasn't a Sandy Hook and, and you have the other half But don't believe Isis even exists, but it's all propaganda used by the elite By the government. No one was shot No one was killed in San Bernardino, California. It was just a big uh, theatrical uh, Presentation like a movie theater, like that they're putting on a play, that none of this is real. No one was killed uh, in uh, California. We've got to put our focus back into the living word. When Jesus said, you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. There will be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And all of the prophecies leading up to what's known as the Great Tribulation. And we need to see, can we find what's happening today in the scriptures? And I think we can if we search the scriptures diligently. I think that um, the Middle East wants to have a battle with us, with the West. I don't see the United States in end time Bible prophecy. I think all of this is happening. God's allowing the prophecies to be fulfilled. I wouldn't blow this off as a, there are no terrorists, there are no Islamic uh, jihadist and that they're not really here that it's just all a big uh, um, show but it's all crisis actors I wouldn't I'd be careful because it's not for us it should show us that now we've got to do more than ever we got to go out and be disciples we got to go out and be fishers of men we got to reach the lost we got to reach the poor the hungry and the unsaved not just sit there at our computer and watch for the next crisis to happen. We've got to be a church. We've got to be the body, a body that's moving, a body that's moving while we're waiting for that trumpet to sound. 
We've got to move our hands, our feet. We've got to move in these last days. We've got to put out the cry. But the bridegroom is coming. It's almost time to meet him. We've got to be wise virgins, not foolish. We've got to do that today. I often think of the parable of the sheep and the goats. I don't want Jesus to ever say to me, when I was hungry, you didn't feed me. I was so thirsty and you gave me no drink. I was naked and you didn't clothe me. I was in prison and you didn't come to visit me. I don't want to be left behind. I want to be found worthy, worthy to be with my Jesus, to be with my Lord Jesus. Oh my goodness. I want to thank, uh, I'm heading out to the city of Flint, Detroit all this weekend. There is no time, he's coming. I want to thank, for two days ago, uh, Greg, precious Greg, for an offering to our ministry to the homeless of, of $20. If the Holy Spirit moves you, time's running out. Will you help me help those? Will you help me feed Jesus and give him something to drink and put clothes on him? Will you help me? Uh, the link to our ministry is below. Look up, look up, look up, my precious brothers and sisters. It's time to go home.